Hey there everybody, it's me Cody on Microsoft where today I'll be showing you the latest build of Windows 10, build 14959 for PC and mobile. Build 14959 is the first build as part of what we now know to be called the Windows 10 Creators Update. I will note that these builds are buggy, and I wouldn't recommend installing them onto your main device. Once you've updated to Windows Insider Builds, the only way to opt out to a release build is by completely resetting your device. If you're installing this build on PC, note that if you rely on Internet Explorer for any sort of task, you'll be in for a bad time, because of an issue that causes it to constantly crash while opening or exploring. If you're installing this build on mobile, you will not be able to install any extra languages, keyboards, or speech packs on your device for the next few weeks. Problems aside, the Windows 10 Creators Update is going to see continued development in areas of the OS aimed at the individual and collaborative creator, with features such as enhanced support for 3D applications and new collaboration tools, which I'm not going to be going over in detail in this video. Downloading this update, you'll be happy to know that this update is being rolled out through a new update backend service, which is being called the Unified Update Platform, or UUP. One of the biggest benefits of UUP is the reduction you'll see in download size on PCs. As we roll out UUP, this will eventually be impactful for PCs whose users can expect their download size to decrease by approximately 35% when going from one major update of Windows to another. You can check the official blog post for the release of the UUP in the description for more info. Some general improvements for PC include new scaling options for Hyper-V virtual machines and fixing of the mechanics of launching apps from other apps in tablet mode. Windows 10 Mobile also receives this build with some general improvements and bug fixes across the board. The UI for the data usage section in the settings app has been updated, and the bug where start could be closed from the task switcher, yes that was a bug, has been resolved. We're going to start seeing many changes and additions to the UI in the upcoming weeks leading up to the release of the Windows 10 Creators Update this spring. If this video was helpful and you'd like to keep up to date about future Windows Insider builds, make sure to subscribe to On Microsoft and check out our website for more info. Thank you, goodbye.